Hi, Jason here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the CK8 or CK10 unit heater suspension kits. Today we're going to be using this model UDX75. The CK8 comes with two washers, two nuts, two swivel connections, two lock washers, and two bolts, while the CK10 option comes with four of each. Let's set up our hardware before we even attach it to the unit. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take our bolt, slide it through our lock washer, put it through our swivel connection. We're going to take our nut. We're going to go a little over halfway. And then our flat washer will sit on top of that. Now that I have my hardware set up, I'm going to take it over to the unit and connect it to the threaded retaining nuts located under the top panel. On UDX and UDZ, model sizes 30 through 125 can utilize the two-point suspension. You will see there are six holes at the top. Two center holes would be utilized for the CK8 option which would be two-point suspension, and the four outer holes would be used for the CK10. We're going to use a 9 16 socket and a 9 16 box end wrench. I'll show you how to do the two-point connection first. We're going to go ahead and find our center hole. We're going to go down probably about a half inch. You will also be able to see the threaded retainer nut inside the unit by the heat exchanger on the left hand side of the unit and on the right hand side of the unit you would be able to see the bolt going through the threaded retaining nut in the controls compartment. Now we can use our boxed end wrench to tighten down the nut to the Retaining nut screw. Just did a little hand tighten. Now we have a nice secure connection and we still have enough room to be able to get our one inch pipe into our swivel connection. And that's how you do the two-point suspension. Now let's take a look at how you do the four-point suspension. That's how you install the CK8 and CK10 unit hanger suspension kits, utilizing swivel connections for one-inch threaded pipe. 